Good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Luigi Pessina, and uh, together with my colleague uh, Juan Pablo Ferrero, we cover public sector and education sales for uh, for EMEA uh, in Intel. And um, today we are very happy to be here with you, even if only virtually. Uh, it's exciting to be part of this uh, conference around STEM and uh, digital transformation for Europe. So today, uh, from our side, we'll give you some more insights about Intel in education and in particular about uh, our Skills for Innovation initiative. So as you can see from this very busy slide, at Intel, we have been committed to education for many years specifically looking at how technology can enhance the teaching and learning experience. Since uh, the late 90s, we have looked at how technology can improve education outcomes by supporting some of the new learning modalities. Um, for example, uh, blended learning or the flipped classrooms or the virtual classrooms that are coming up and how technology can also help build more resilient education systems. So we have a long history in education and uh, we are focused also on supporting closing the, uh, the digital divide and advancing diversity and inclusion. Now, from our side, we try to drive initiatives that are supporting the students, uh, the educators, the decision makers globally. And we do that working with our ecosystem. So we have globally 170 partners that are supporting us in developing uh, technical solutions that are optimized for the education market. And we have also skills development initiatives like Skills for Innovation. We'll look at that one in, in more details, as well as um, uh, initiatives around our, um, uh, AI uh, for, uh, for youth, for example, for high school students and AI for future workforce for, um, for uh, vocational schools. And uh, all of that is also encompassed in our corporate social uh, responsibility goals through the RISE initiative, where we try to create a more responsible and more inclusive, a more sustainable world, all enabled through the technology and our uh, collective actions. Now, during the pandemic, uh, we have seen lots of headlines about um, some of the challenges that um, uh, we are um, we have been facing because of uh, remote learning, right? And we know that uh, this was one of the main sources of stress for educators. And in some of the recent studies, we have seen that technology adoption has also increased, and educators are now experiencing some clear positive impacts. So, for example. Uh, we have seen a stronger adoption of video conferencing. Uh, this has gone really mainstream. Uh, it has reached 87% usage by the end of 2021, uh, compared to 51% in 2019. Uh, certainly, we know that teachers are under pressure. Uh, they have a lot of responsibilities, and uh, the teaching environment is also getting more and more complex. And we need to ensure that technology is not adding to their stress, um, and it's also getting easier to use. At the same time, we see some big changes in the, in the job landscape. Our world is transforming completely, right? And um, this report here from the Future of Jobs is estimating that uh, in the year 2025, so in just a couple of years from now, 97 million new jobs will be created and 85 million of the more traditional jobs will be eliminated. And what we see is that the roles that are emerging, such as data analyst, AI and machine learning specialist, require a different set of technology and also social emotional skills that the kids of today are not really learning. And um, there is also an increased need for new skills. We have also heard it in the previous presentations, right? So skills such as critical thinking, communication, creativity are really important. And employers are challenged to find capable candidates with some of these uh, required skill sets. So that's why from an Intel point of view, uh, we believe that technology can play an important role here. 
And uh, across the world, we are supporting educators um, to successfully integrate technology in the education systems. And that's why we have created um, the Intel Skills for Innovation Initiative, which represents our new approach for, uh, for education. It's basically our teacher training, um, and it's focusing on three main objectives. First of all, um, reinventing the role of technology so that it can best support the education uh, system resilience and also bridge the gap between uh, schools and industry. Secondly, making sure that we are able to foster some of the higher order thinking skills development of the students of today. And third, making sure that technology is fully applied into the curriculum concepts and it's supporting some of the real world problem solving activities that you can drive into the school environment. And in order to do that and to bring this vision to reality, uh, we have um, defined our framework around some critical skill sets and mindsets, starting from social emotional um, skill sets, uh, mindsets like um, design thinking, computational thinking, and more art coded skill sets like programming, data analysts, simulation, and AI and machine learning. And uh, within our Skills for Innovation initiative, we believe that the use of technology can be fully integrated into the curriculum, right? And for that, we are using the Bloom's taxonomy, which is very well established among educators. And uh, many, many times they have also some goals that are associated with, with this taxonomy, right? So, and some of these goals might include things like um, applying what you have learned, analyzing certain objects, or um, evaluate a certain situation, right? And um, the problem is that today, many teachers are doing that using traditional approaches that do not involve technology. And with our skills-focused approach, we are creating that affinity between the technology tools uh, and the development of these higher order thinking skills. So let me be clear, we, we are not suggesting a, a change of the curriculum. Instead, we believe that technology can be really integrated into the current school environment, into the everyday teaching and learning to enable better outcomes. So with that, let me hand over to my colleague Juan Pablo, who will give you some more insights about skills for innovation. Thank you, Luigi. Good morning, everyone. My name is Juan Pablo Ferrero. I work for Intel as Western Europe Director for the Education and Public Sector Global Sales Team. I would like to invite you to enter into the Skills for Innovation platform. What you are seeing here in the screen is the screenshot of the platform. In a few minutes, I will let you know how to enter, how to register, and how to navigate into the online platform. What I would like to mention is that here in the top of this slide, you can see a menu. In the menu, there is an area called Started Pack. I will talk a little about Started Pack. And with the focus to enrich the curriculum, building the right skill sets and mindsets, like Luigi was mentioning, we created specific lessons. Each module is for two hours, and the topics are totally across the curriculum. I mean, this is not only for technology or science lessons. This is across all the curriculum. There are materials to use during 140 hours. Another area that I would like to mention that you will see when you enter into the platform is an area called professional development. This is for self-guide training that uh, we will see with more detail in a few minutes. So Luigi, let's go to the next slide. The, as I mentioned, the Skill for Innovation Started Pack activities are categorized into various subjects across all K-12 grade. This is enabling the educators to select the activities that they need according with the areas of specialization. And, and these activities will provide to the students new experiences. But what is important, as I mentioned earlier, 
this is for different uh, subjects. It's for language, for STEM, for humanities. It's across all the curriculum and with different levels. So we, we have 15 lessons specific for elementary, 25 for middle school, and uh, main, and 30 additional activities that I are higher. Let's move to the next slide, please. The started pack are materials that come totally ready to use, are including the detailed lesson plans, the step-by-step -step teacher's guide, the class presentation, the working files. It's, it's a complete packet. It, it's including the work, worksheet, the installation guide, the application, the data sets. And you, as a teacher, you can go click and download the lesson, and you can download it directly for Windows OS or for Chrome OS. It means that we are supporting different operating systems and the materials are totally prepared for that. Let me remember that what that we are mentioned here is uh, a proposal and it's uh, a collaboration from Intel side, but it's totally for free. Let's move to the next slide, please. As I mentioned at the beginning, the other area that we include into the platform is the skill for innovation professional development suite this is what this is our new teachers training in support to our vision and there are materials to learn during 80 hours this is to help the teachers to build new skills or and also help them to modify existing lessons and learn in example how to do on remote learning because as you can see there are different levels from level one up to level four one example i can do on the on the second level uh, there are lessons about how to help the teachers on delivering classes from home that happened during the pandemic a lot of teachers were asking us i know how to do uh, how to deliver my classes but i don't have all the knowledge about how to do it from my home and with my pc we were helping the teachers uh, with these kinds, uh, this kind of, of lessons. And going and moving up, there are more and more engaging contents that will help you to uh, motivate your students and develop the skill sets and mindsets. If we talk about the, these modules, uh, originally were written in English, but uh, we are working to translate to different languages. Actually, the Skills for Innovation Professional Development Suite is in German, also in addition to English, in Spanish, in French, and is in translation in Polish. Let's go to the next slide, please. Well, this is about where we are and also about uh, the adoption of Skills for Innovation. At this time, we are in 36 countries. This is with the very good, good acceptance. At the same time that we are working in uh, these 36 countries, I'm happy to keep uh, adding additional countries. We are working with different partners in the countries. Uh, the number of teachers, I've been checking this morning, the number of teachers already registered in the, into the platform. There are more than 11,000 teachers that are involved. And uh, the feedback is very good. When we talk with the Ministry of Education, immediately realize the benefit of this kind of training for teachers and also for the, the experience for the, for the students. Therefore, uh, we are in front of something that is uh, at global level and into the platform, the teachers also can interact and talk uh, with teachers that are using the same lessons in different countries and in different languages. Let's move to the next slide. Let me mention that to enter into the platform, you need to type, as you can see at the bottom of this slide, skillforinnovation.intel.com. Before to register, you will find a full description about all that we are offering with Skill for Innovation. And also there are some brochures that will show you exactly uh, the different topics, the different levels, and also a certification for teachers, the teachers that can do the 
professional development training and approved exams can get an Intel certificate about that. So as I promised, uh, I will help you how to enter and register. Let's move to the next slide. And here we have here we have a, a code that, that we prepared for all of you, and also you can share it. So uh, I recommend you to enter in this URL, click on register, uh, include the the code that you are seeing on screen, scientific CFI, and uh, and register completing all your data. And and please feel free to do any question to us uh, if you have any problem, but I assume it will not. And please enjoy navigating and doing the training into our website. Thank you.